Harry humiliated Meghan on their date by leaving Beyoncé's performance. Now that Prince Harry isn't a fan of Beyoncé, we know that there is at least one person on the earth that isn't. Harry appeared depressed as he and wife Meghan Markle saw the singer perform in Los Angeles on September 1. Rumors of a stressful date night have been prompted by Harry's demeanor during the performance he attended with Meghan Markle in Los Angeles. Meghan, who is urging him to quit humiliating them, is becoming more agitated as a result. On a dating night, having a mum tout of Harry's dancing in the background while you were having fun was a real buzzkill. According to In Touch, Harry left the stadium as their date night ended. It was not surprising that when Meghan returned on September 4 for her second concert in four days, Harry wasn't sure if these staged, look at us, aren't we happy outings were starting to bore him. According to Sour Sources, Harry may be losing interest in these orchestrated public outings intended to portray happiness. He is reportedly growing increasingly disinterested in such staged appearances. The amount of photos that started circulating with Harry, more so than those of Beyoncé herself, according to royal authority Daniela. Based on the social media data that is now available, concertgoers in close proximity to the Sussex's private box spent the most of the performance glued to their iPhones, not devotedly aimed on the stage but rather on the Duke and Duchess. Not what these movies depict, but rather their sheer quantity is what makes them so intriguing, and that is the lesson this narrative has for Americans. For Harry and Meghan, every single person is a threat to their privacy and their ability to be recorded, not just the trailing, swarming paparazzi. Meghan is planning a spectacular comeback as a single mother. Even though Meghan Markle and Prince Harry haven't even officially separated yet, royal enthusiasts are sure that they are biding their time and will soon announce their divorce. Meghan is already making plans for her relaunch. The Tag, a mediocre lifestyle site that disappeared when Meghan Markle made her relationship with Harry public, would be relaunched using her former Goddaddy domain, it was announced a few months ago. Harry and Meghan allegedly have a problem with the Tag. The blog she intended to populate with all of her favorite things had taken months to develop, thanks to months of work by Marco over the years. Meghan was positive she would see Gwyneth Paltrow and Gooper run to receive the cash. Meghan was confident that she would outperform Gwyneth Paltrow and Gooper because, of course, millions of people would visit her website every day to see what she was advising them to wear, eat, and speak up for regardless of the tiger's success or prospective success. Because of Harry's family, Markle has always believed that she is missing out on a lucrative opportunity. Despite the current state of Meghan Markle's public relations, a few marketing firms are still assisting her in relaunching the TIG and packaging a new image as a world of war sea. Anyone who works in the internet industry can tell you that a specialty is necessary in order to achieve any level of success. It's a rumor to coincide with the news of her divorce, Meghan intends to build a website. The site will highlight her experiences as a single mother and co-parenting. <laughs>